Hi there, this is Amanda with Atel Wines, and today I'm here as part of our Wines of Moravia Check It Out series um, to talk to you about one of the wines that we carry from our biodynamic producer, Cross Nahora. So today we are going to be talking about, uh, about our Riesling and a little bit about Cross Nahora. Uh, they are a small family winery and they produce about 45, 50,000 bottles a year. And they are uh, biodynamic and certified organic. So what that means is uh, they have followed a homeopathic way and a holistic way of tending to their vineyards. And that means absolutely no chemicals. Everything is all natural. They use a compost from natural materials. Um, they follow some very, uh, say, unusual traditions. And you can check out some more information on our website. And you can Google biodynamic farming. And actually, Wine Folly has a fantastic guide. I think they call it a deep dive to biodynamic. If you uh, do a quick search there, It'll give you all the details you need to know about biodynamic. But know that it is a um, extremely natural way of tending to the vineyards. And so it translates into the wine that they have the most healthy natural grapes as possible in the vineyards and so they do as little uh, as possible in the winemaking process so there's very little manipulation and, um, and they keep it as natural as possible so this particular Riesling as you can see on the screen is two types of clones um, it is also a blend of vintages it is uh, 2016 and 2017 grapes blended uh, you can see both vintages were harvested by hand and uh, it's a blend of 20% uh, uh, on skins for one month, as well as some that were uh, um, for, um, in oak, uh, excuse me, 60% that were in stainless steel and 40% that were on oak with yeast. So it's a really interesting Riesling. Um, the food pairings, like, I mean, Riesling is one of the most versatile food pairing wines. Um, so this really can go well with everything. But I particularly love it with shellfish um, and say like oysters in the half shell or um, even like a, a sautéed um, flounder or a sole or something like that. Um, it really is delightful um, with any of that. And one of the things that is kind of unique about this wine, at least for us, is this is literally the wine that started it all. Um, when uh, Heidi, my business partner and I were traveling and before we ever thought we were going to be wine importers, uh, we were just visiting and enjoying the wines of the region. And uh, this was one of the wines that when we visited Cross Nahora, uh, they poured for us. And I at first was a little hesitant because I typically didn't like Rieslings. I was that typical American girl who just thought all Rieslings were sweet, even when they say, off dry or dry it always kind of seems semi-sweet to me so I just kind of stayed away from them um, but after trying this particular Riesling I literally became kind of obsessed and so we started looking for this wine as we were traveling through other areas of Europe when we came back to the United States and really couldn't find this wine anywhere and so it kind of came uh, became a self-serving project to figure out how to import this wine and as a result we decided to uh, do this commercially and um, test the wine with some uh, friends and colleagues and people that we respect and uh, lo and behold we weren't the only ones that were kind of crazy obsessed with this wine everybody who tasted it kind of had a similar response and so uh, long story short here we are and we're importing wines uh, today so this is still one of my favorites and um, I hope you enjoy it so cheers, let's see how this one tastes. Well, first off, I jumped right to tasting, but I should have been looking at the color. And really the color is um, stunning. Not sure it'll come up on the video, but it's really this like, like pale lemon gold with like these flecks of green that really make it um, really quite pretty, pretty in the glass, really clean looking. Um, and the flavors, you, you get that, you get that stone fruit with, mm, with this like hint of herbaceousness, but a real like strong minerality. And I think that's the piece that I really fell in love with when we first tasted this wine, 
And as we've um, learned about the wines of the region, that minerality is really pervasive throughout the wines of Moravia. So what I love about this Riesling is it's really a brilliant representation of the sense of place that you get from drinking one of these wines. You can taste uh, a Czech Riesling with, a, uh, with an Alsace Riesling. And even though they're still gonna be uh, similar in styles, because of their uh, geographies, you are definitely going to get a clear sense of place with the Czech Riesling, and you're going to know that it's a Moravia Riesling, uh, Moravian Riesling versus an Alsatian Riesling, um, which I think is really, uh, which is really interesting and in what people are kind of looking for when they're trying some some of these new wines. Um, it transports you, it kind of brings you there, and um, it's one of the reasons we fell in love with it to begin with. So we hope you enjoy it. And it's perfect for uh, going into the summer season here. And I appreciate you watching this video. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch. You can give us a, um, shoot us an email at info at Autel Wines. Um, check out our website. We have a lot of resources and you can see all of the current wines that are available and where to buy them on autelwines.com. And you can subscribe to our blog and get notifications of events and um, new information as we have it available. And if you happen to live in the states of Florida or the District of Columbia, Washington, D.C., um, we do have a, uh, an e-commerce site that you can purchase wines online and have them shipped direct to you in those two states. So you can go to brilliantwinesclub.com and you can order yourself a bottle or three or six of the Riesling and have it sent to you direct. So with that, I will sign off. And I thank you again for your attention today. And as they say in the Czech Republic, Nastravi. Cheers.